Hey, Inspire Church, Pastor Jim here. Hope you're doing great today. We're going to be sending out these little video updates every now and then just so we can stay in touch with you and let you know what's going on. If you haven't heard, we're all supposed to be practicing social distancing right now. That, coupled with the fact that the Sun City West Foundation has closed its rooms up through May 1st, means that we've moved our worship services to an online worship service. Uh, this past Saturday, we had our first service. Uh, and we broadcast it on Facebook Live, and it was a real success, a lot of fun. Uh, we're not sure, but we think we were actually able to reach more people that way than we do on a regular Saturday. If you're not on Facebook, you can still continue to enjoy our worship services by uh, going to our website at inspirechurchaz.com, click on the media link, and enjoy worshiping with us here at Inspire Church. During this season of being flexible, we are encouraging our small groups to take up our pastoral care. What that means is if you're in a small group and you have a need in your life, maybe somebody to pray for you, or you have a physical need, please contact your small group leader and they'll see what they can do for you. Now, if you're not in a small group and you have a need in your life, just give me a call. Give Pastor Brian a call. We'll see what we can do for you. Got some great news for you. I'm really excited about this. This Wednesday at 4.30, Pastor Brian's going to be doing a concert. How cool is that? All you got to do is go to Facebook Live Wednesday at 4.30, and you can just sing and worship right along with Pastor Brian. Do us a favor, though, please. Would you let your family and friends know about this? Let's spread the word. You know, my friends, these are tough times, but it's also a wonderful opportunity for the church to be the church that Jesus Christ intends for us to be, a church that makes a difference in our world. You know, last Saturday during our message, Matthew 16, Jesus made a very bold and powerful statement. He said, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. What an encouraging truth. Jesus says that he is building his church, and that we, his church, will always, always be victorious over the powers of darkness and evil. So hear this, church. Now is the time for us to pray, and to pray, and to pray some more. Now is the time for us to reach out to our neighbors to reach out to our family and friends and watch after them. If somebody has a need, see if you can fill it. And please, be wise, be faithful, be courageous. Do not fear. Let me pray for you. Our Heavenly Father, Almighty God, you are the creator of the heavens and the universe. You give us life and you sustain our lives. We are so thankful, O oh God, that our lives are in your wonderful and capable hands. It is in you, God, that we place our hope, our trust, and our faith. In Jesus' name, amen. And now, friends, may the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the wisdom and the comfort of the Holy Spirit be yours today and forevermore as you go out into God's world, being God's people, doing God's work. And all of God's people said, Amen.